Let me get my hair on. And have you done a show like this before? No. And they only come to a different um, town every year. My name is Marguerite Pepper. I am the producer of uh, The Road We Were On and I was invited by Deborah Conway, Artistic Director of Queensland Music Festival, to produce the gig. When, when we first arrived in Charleville, the, the, the beginning of the process was to research stories and we gather them from, from the landscape, which you can see here on site. We gather them from the people, um, we talk to shop owners, we talk to elders, we talk to the Bidjara people and uh, from that we built um, segments or scenarios or ideas that we thought would work and then Stephen Carlton, the writer, has kind of pulled this together in a very funny and very um, pertinent piece of writing, I think, for Chalo. These, these projects are unique in the world. Um, and they come with their own special challenges and each place comes with, a, with their own special challenges, you know. This notion of a site-specific work, basically on the levee bank, on the main street, uh, try to keep it environmental and not have scaffold towers everywhere and just use the trees and the, the soil and the horses and that's been kind of cool. But these things are special, these are really special. This is, you know, grassroots theatre, this. This is at, at theatre its best. Not people coming in saying, you know, here's a delivered package, we're going to do all this and you guys have to come. It's more about, you know, what can you tell us that we can weave into this kind of magical tapestry, like the motocross, or like how do we involve the motocross, which we really wanted to do. Yeah. And, you know, we talked about the flood, of course we clearly had to have a flood scene with the Caronis Hotel, because we, we had to. Uh, and this notion of you know the 21st century and and giving them a chance to to shine, as we have with the healthy aging in that same scene where they get the chance to, you know, boogie on down in their line dancing in the context of a bore, 1950s ballroom, but you know, and the cars and you know all those layers are really come from just spending time here, I think, and, and getting to know the place. And I actually had a visit from Marguerite. Um, I think Marguerite could have been referred to me through the mayor and um, she came come to visit to see and I said definitely Healthy Ageing wants to be part of it. I'm David Marks and I'm part of with the Charla Motorcycle Club. I wanted to obviously have the motorbikes and that in the show and come and ask her if we'd be uh, happy in doing that and as we all very, very much, ex well, very excited to do it. We all obliged. And I'm you sure the, the four protagonists who are the leads, very, very capable, talented, young people, will use this as a springboard, you know, of aspiration into whatever they take into the next part of their lives. Well, I'm Hayden. I'm, I play the child of the stars, the son of the stars, if you want to call me that, because, of course, I am a star. <laughs> well, I'm Matt. I play the, um, the water. The water scene, yeah, and I'm the superstar. Yeah, that's sort of what I am, the superstar. Call me that whenever you want. With the choir, um, because we've enjoyed it so much and we actually make quite a nice sound, we're going to go in the Estedford in August, so that's a positive thing. And a few of us, if um, people want some girls to sing at their wedding or something like that, we're going to keep it going, hopefully. I would like to think for the future of QMF and these events, which I think are the most important cultural engagement events that you can possibly be involved with in this country and in the world. I don't think there's anywhere else that this happens. And you know.